Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to remove the copper windings out of an old electric motor. What I have here is the, uh, we call it the core or the field windings, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you a quick, simple way to do this. So, start off with putting it in the vise here. As you can see. Take your knife and cut these 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 uh, strings off right here. These will just hinder the process. So you want to cut them off only one side. So take your knife and cut them off. See the strings here? They all have to come off. They're put in there to hold the windings together, keep them tight from vibrating and stuff, and causing shorts inside the motor. No good for me though. So next step, take a screwdriver, go underneath the windings, slightly raise them a bit. Just like that. There. Take you have a pair of bolt cutters, which is strongly recommended to do this job. Take your bolt cutters, and let me show you quick here. When you're cutting, you must take your screwdriver and put it between, I guess they call that a different, the field or whatever. You must put it in between there, and get right in the center. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you got to do it that way. If not, it's just going to be a real hassle for you in the end. So, take the bolt cutters, go in the center of the winding field, I guess, if you want to call it that. Give it a cut. Cut this one. These type of motors have four sets of winding in it, in them. Multi-speed motors have more sets of windings, but the process is basically the same. Always find the center of it, give it a cut. Make sure that when you cut these uh, winding fields, they are nice and straight. When you go to pull them out, it makes it a lot easier for you. Next, cut the next set of windings in there. I know there's a start winding and a running winding. I believe the smaller gauge wire is the start winding and the large gauge wire is the run winding. So, sorry. Do the same thing with a screwdriver. Go underneath, straighten it up, just so you can get your bolt cutters right down so it makes a more even cut. Cut this slow because these wires are a lot thicker, a lot more windings on this particular field. Just cut a little bit at a time. Then repeat the process. Take a screwdriver this time because these are a lot heavier wires and straighten them up like I said previous. Sometimes you have the odd wire you haven't cut with the bolt cutters, get a pair of side cutters, snip them off.
like uh, combing hair, I guess. You want to get your hair straight? Comb it? <laughs> I don't know. As you can see there, as you can see, windings are relatively straight. You're not going to get them much straighter than that. So, reverse your field, your core, put the vice. down. The best way to do this is go on those heavier windings. Don't try to pull it from the smaller windings. Either a log bar or a long punch. This is the key to, to uh, this process of getting the windings out of the, the solid iron core here. So we'll start off, pry on a little bit, start it, do both sides. Try to find the center of those windings the, the same way when we were cutting. It's pretty easy to find. You see where the, the uh, smaller windings go through the core. And give it a pull one way, pull the other way, a little bit more. Usually you can just pull it out with your hands after this. And there you go. There's your copper windings out of that uh, iron core. And uh, show you it was worth it. Current price copper's around, oh, if you want to get number one copper, I believe is around 360 a pound. Number two, a little less, depending on what uh, scrap yard you go to. Beat the stuff down so you get more in your bucket or bin. So it's a little flatter, but it's probably around two pounds of copper here. Maybe a little more. A little less. You can usually rip one of those apart within 10 minutes or so. So obviously some motors are bigger than others and some are more challenging than others. But if you do that process, it's generally the easiest way to get your windings out, I find. So, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. I hope it was a little educational for you. And uh, your fellow scrap guys, have a nice day.